So here's the thing. I have been skating for a whole 30 days now. And obviously I'm no expert, but I do feel like I have some pretty valuable tips for other people who are beginners or even those who have not even purchased their first pair of skates and are just interested in getting into inline skating. Here are five tips for beginner skaters from a beginner skater. Tip number one, buy the right skate. Now that can mean a number of things to a number of different people. That could mean buy the right brand, buy the right size, even buy the right color. But what I'm specifically referring to is consider the type of skating that you want to do and buy a skate that is suitable for that type of skating. For example, this is the first skate that I bought. This is the FR FR380. And while this is an amazing skate, it's super comfortable. It has decent bearings from you know my level of expertise, uh, which is not a whole lot. Um, it skates smooth, like it's a really good skate. But this is not suitable for the type of skating that I envisioned myself doing. My vision was to be out at the skate parks, just going up and down the ramps, riding rails, you know, the whole line. I know that sounds crazy, but that's truly what the vision that I have for my skating journey to be. Those skates aren't gonna get there. These skates, however, will. These are the Them 909 skates with the intuition. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm so excited. Obviously I have not ridden these yet. These just got here a few days ago and I have not had a chance to go out to the skate park. So these uh, will have an unboxing video up soon and I'm super excited to actually get these out at the skate park. But this is a perfect example. Buy the right skate for the activity or type of skating that you want to do. Tip number two is wear protection. I cannot tell you how many times I have fallen and this thing right here and these right here have saved my head and my wrists. Um, I actually recently purchased some elbow pads and some knee pads because as you can see, I've taken some pretty you know, decent falls. And had I not had this helmet on during some of those falls, I honestly don't think that I would be sitting here making this video. I'd be in the hospital or I'd be home recovering from some type of head injury because I've literally smacked the back of my head onto the concrete and it wasn't fun. So take the necessary precautions and just protect yourself. I'm too old to be falling and hurting myself. I am a whole mom. I'm a corporate professional. I just don't have time to be hurt. So invest in a helmet, get some wrist guards. I got some elbow pads and some knee pads on the way. So it just is what it is. Look like a dork, but be a protected human at the end of the day. Tip number three is mind your business. I know that sounds weird or that maybe it's not applicable in this instance, but just hear me out. So many people get shamed out of doing the things that actually bring them joy or they're curbed from pursuing something that they're actually interested in because they're concerned or worried about what other people are going to think about that decision. That is none of your business. What people think about you is none of your concern. It's their business. Mind yours. Take me for example. I'm a 30 something year old black woman, mom of a toddler, wife, corporate professional. I've got businesses and, and all the things that society says that I should like don't necessarily include inline skating. But who cares? I don't. So much so that I've taken it upon myself to make videos about it and post it for the world to see. Mind your business and leave everybody else's business and their opinions to them. Go skate. Tip number four is do your research. This kind of ties into tip number one, but it kind of expounds upon it because there's so many different things to learn about inline skating and you don't know what you don't know. Take the time to watch YouTube videos, to go on the internet and, and read different things about skating. From the lingo, to parts, to tricks. Like I literally just found out that fakie meant skating backwards. And I would have never known that had I not taken the time to go just browse around and poke around and learn about something that I'm interested in, which is in this case, inline skating. You don't know what you don't know. So just do your research. And that brings me to tip number five, 
which is to practice. What good does it do you to watch a million YouTube videos and read a million articles and never put any of that information to actual use? Go put your skates on, go outside, and practice. It's the only way that you're gonna get better. It's the only way that you're going to conquer your fears. It's the only way that you're ever gonna be comfortable not caring about what other people think of you wanting to inline skate in the first place. So go outside, go put your skates on, and just have some fun. That's gonna wrap up this video. I hope that it brought you some value, and if it did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you feel so inclined, consider subscribing because I'm going to be pumping out more content like this. I got some reviews that I have to get done. I have just so much content in this brain of mine that I'm going to put on the camera and share with the world. So I hope that you're here to witness the journey unfold. Until then, be fit. Because why not? I'm about to go skate. So I don't know what you're going to do.